Hey everyone, I'm John Swantek. Welcome to Direct Connect, presented by United, where you guys, the fans, get to ask the questions and connect directly with PGA Tour players like our next guest, who will be on the PGA Tour in 2013, thanks to a stellar season on the Web.com Tour. Paul Haley joins us from TPC Craig Ranch outside Dallas, site of this week's Web.com Tour Championship. Paul, great season, a victory in Chile. Has it hit you yet? Has it sunk in that you're going to be in the big show next year? Yeah, I don't really think it's sunk in yet. You know, when I start making my plane reservations to go to Hawaii, I think that's kind of when it'll start setting in and, and hit me. Yeah, first uh, full event of the PGA Tour season will be uh, at the Sony Open, uh, where a lot of the rookies will tee it up. Let's get to the questions. Uh, first one comes from the Tour Report on PGATour.com. It's from uh, Jackie Nelson. Which Texan golfer did you look up to when you were a kid starting the game? Paul, you got a lot to choose from there in your home state, uh, Texas. Yeah, well, luckily enough for me, I, I grew up playing at the same golf course as Justin Leonard. And, uh, you know, we worked with the same teacher. I've always looked up to him. And he was kind of the guy that I tried to model my game after and, and swing like and do all those kinds of things. So he would definitely be uh, the number one guy I looked up to. Paul Haley, our guest, won the uh, Texas Amateur Championship back in 2006. Next question. Also through the tour report, it comes from Rick Rowland. When did you realize golf could be a professional career for you? Uh, I'd say probably once I got in high school, you know, that's kind of when I really wanted to, to focus and, and do the best I could and see how far it could take me. Um, you know, growing up, I played a couple sports. I played basketball, baseball, and golf. And then, you know, once high school came around and I started playing good in some tournaments, that was probably uh, when I decided that I wanted to do this for the rest of my life. Paul was obviously uh, heavy, heavily recruited as a, uh, a high school golfer. Could have gone somewhere in Texas in his home state, but he didn't. That's our next question, uh, and it comes through Twitter from Ramblin' Rec 14. I think we know where this one's going, Paul. What made you decide to go to Georgia Tech and not a Texas school? Yeah, I better be careful with this one. I, uh, you know, coming out of Dallas, uh, you know, I, I really wanted to kind of do something different. You know, my best friend was on the on the team at Texas, and um, you know, my final three choices were really Texas, Georgia Tech, and Oklahoma State, and I. After looking at it, you know, the school's great, Atlanta's a nice area, and the golf courses we got to play were fantastic. And so that was really why I chose Georgia Tech, was to do something different and kind of go do my own thing somewhere else. Good choices to have. All very proud programs. Paul graduated with a degree in business management from Tech in 2011, by the way. Back to the tour report for our next question for Paul Haley from Brian Robinson. Which former Georgia Tech alum are you most excited to play against next year? That's a good question. Uh, probably my old, old roommate, Cameron Tringali. Uh, I lived with him for a year at school, was on the team with him for three, so that's probably the guy that I'm looking forward to, to playing against and hopefully beating a little bit. If you win before Tringali, you've got to let him have it. You realize yeah, that, right? Yeah, for sure. Uh, let's go to uh, the tour report. This one comes from Judy Millen, and uh, she says, what's the last movie you saw, and what movie is a must on your all-time favorite list? Uh, the last movie I saw was Sunday Night, and that was Taken 2. And um, my all-time favorite movie uh, is American Psycho. <laughs> okay. Two non-golf selections. We like that. Yeah. How was Taken 2? Give us a quick uh, thumbnail review. It wasn't as good as the first one, but it was still good. A lot of action. Next one uh, through Facebook from Bill Brody. Uh, on your bio, he says, you list fishing as one of your interests. So, what's your best fish story? Make it a good one, Paul. We used to catch some fish off number six at Lakeside at the Golf Club of Georgia in college, and I think one of my teammates probably caught an eight pounder out there off the, off the bank of the tee. So, that's probably the best fish story I have. Nothing crazy like hooks going into people's faces and stuff like that, but that's probably the best one I have. Yeah, nothing that you would see in American Psycho, for instance. What's the biggest fish you ever pulled in? Uh, I think I caught about a five and a half, six pounder on that same hole at the Golf Club of Georgia. That was probably the biggest one that I've caught. Respectable, not bad at all. One final question here for uh, Paul Haley on Direct Connect. Uh, from the tour report, from Troy Meachin, I've often heard the term earning your PGA Tour card. Do you actually get a card and how big is it? You know, I actually, I don't have any idea. This is my first year doing it. Uh, I, I would think that it's it's not that big, but I'm sure it's just a card with your name on it. 
Yeah, it's about the size of a credit card, and there you go. Uh, you're going like to get the one. all access pass. <laughs> That's right. Paul Haley will uh, will have one in his pocket to start the 2013 PGA Tour season as a rookie. But uh, this week, competing in the Web.com Tour Championship at TPC Craig Ranch in McKinney, Texas. Paul, uh, thanks for the time. We appreciate it, and thanks for connecting with us. Thanks, guys. Direct Connect is brought to you by United, who is proud to be the official airline of the PGA Tour.